Pali Coast, Kauai, Hawaii. The 6,175-acre N. Pali Coast State Park is located in the heart of the rocky 16-mile northwest coast of Kauai, the second-oldest inhabited Hawaiian island. The Na Pali Coast is one of the world's most well-known and gorgeous coastlines. The cliffs, which rise to a height of 4,000 feet, offer a jagged grandeur of deep, narrow valleys that abruptly end at the sea. The Napali coast, which stretches 17 miles along Kauai's north shore, is a sacred site marked by amazing beauty, one of the most well-known coasts on the planet. The rocky majesty of deep, narrow valleys ending abruptly at the sea is provided by Npali, which literally means, the cliffs, with heights towering up to 4,000 feet. Waterfalls and fast-flowing streams continue to form cliffs at the mouths of these narrow valleys, while the sea calves cliffs above them. The Npali coast is a sacred site surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. The rough terrain looks much the same as it did centuries ago. When Hawaiian villages thrived in these deep, narrow valleys, subsisting solely on the food they could grow and capture. On the valley bottoms, where Hawaiians previously resided and farmed taro, extensive stone-walled terraces can still be found. The major Hawaiian island chain's oldest island, a volcanic outburst occurred along the Hawaii Emperor volcanic chain around 5 million years ago. The eruption initiated the formation of the Hawaiian Islands, culminating in the formation of Kauai, the oldest of the main Hawaiian island chain. Each Hawaiian island was built by continuous volcanic activity, which began as an undersea mountain that gradually rose above the ocean's surface. Npali was formed entirely of lava flows at beginning. Water flow on the island later had a significant impact on its shape. With an annual rainfall of 450 inches, Mount Waialeal is the wettest spot on the planet. While irrigation methods adopted by early settlers have affected the water flow today, Five million years ago a large amount of water poured onto the northwest part of the island, carving down the valleys of the Npali coast. There were not only torrents cutting down from within, but also 40-foot high waves high continuously battered the Napali coast, and still do today. The Npali sea caves were formed when the waves carved through the rock cliffs and waterfalls created when the waves cut through quicker than the streams could chisel. Polynesian navigators were the first residents on the Npali coast approximately 1200 AD. Many Tahitian migrants followed soon after, influencing the culture of Kauai and other Hawaiian islands to this day. Thousands of Hawaiians lived in practically all of the valleys on the Napali coast for hundreds of years. Their communities were completely self-sustainable and farmed, fished, and traded amongst one another to survive. Traces of this lifestyle still remain today in the rock walls and terraces found in places along the Napali, like new backquote Alolokai. The Napali coast can be visited in three ways, by land, water, or air. By land, the the Kalalao Trail, which begins at Key Beach, is by far the most popular way to hike the Napali coast. By sea, the Napali coast was traditionally reached by sea through the Polihale Gateway. By air, the Napali coast. A boat is the only way to properly see the entire shoreline. Views of the whole Nepali coastline can be had on a boat excursion with Makana charters. It's an unforgettable experience as you get up close and personal with the magnificent coastline, even venturing inside sea caves, weather permitting. The Napali coast, which can only be reached by helicopter, boat, or hiking, is where the Hawaiian gods must have imagined heaven.
There are only three ways to reach these breathtaking coastal cliffs, by air, land, or water, each providing a unique perspective and experience. If you're ambitious, you can drive around Kauai in one day. The highway forms a semi-circle and takes around two and a half hours to complete. If you really want to soak in all of the riches along the road, however, it's best to spread out your time. Between September and November, or April and June, is the greatest time to visit Kauai because the weather is good and flight and hotel rates are lower. On Kauai, there are a few things you should not miss. Waimea Canyon is a canyon in the Hawaiian Islands. Kauai. There's a reason it's dubbed the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Lawai Bay and Alitan Garden Garden of Alitan the Napali Coast is located on the island of Kauai. Coast of the Napali Hanali Bay is located on the island of Kauai. Hanali Bay is a beautiful bay in Hawaii. Farmers markets on Kauai. Acai bowls on Kauai. Bowl of acai pork on Kauai. Kauai tuna pork. Things to do for free on Kauai. Waimea Canyon is a must-see. Organize a field trip for a sheltered dog. Try the Kauai Coffee Company's coffee. Hike the Kalalau Trail along the Napali Coast. At Wailua River State Park, you may see waterfalls. Visit Spouting Horn. Take the Koloa Heritage Trail for a walk or a drive. Poipu Shopping Village offers free entertainment. Also, don't forget to visit the Napali Coast Sea Cave accessibility to see the entire stretch of the majestic Napali Coast. Encounters with dolphins, turtles, and humpback whales in the ocean, winter highlight. Snorkeling, swimming in crystal clear waters. Smaller, more personal gatherings, 14 packs. Fruit, Hawaiian snacks, and iced drinks. Take advantage of this private whale watch expedition, which we only provide during peak whale season. When approximately 10,000 humpback whales call Hawaii home for the winter. Hope the video was informative. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.